Ferrari is a brand name that their cars preserve their value better than any other brand name out there because the demand is always there because they build a piece of art. They don't build just cars. It was difficult always for me to justify buying a car that's valued more than a house. Um, so the F40 had a lot of big significance. The curves, the cuts, the, the buckles on the engine from the back, uh, the, the metal, everything, the simplicity. And yet you have everything in just this car. And this car imposes itself on you. It needs your attention the whole time, right? You don't just get into this car and you turn on the radio or you put your, it's no radio, there's no cup holder. There's, you just pay attention to me the whole time. You need to control it. And I'm far from being an expert, right? I'm just an amateur driver that's passionate for Ferraris. The first time I drove it, I was concerned because it's, I, don't, I didn't know the car. I don't know the weight, the balance, the speed, everything that came with it. And, um, and so I'm, I'm, I, I, I drive it. I'm learning more about the car every time I get into it. And uh, I take care of it. But the car is by far the best. And I'm pretty sure it will be the best car that I will ever own. But I, I, I highly doubt that there will be another car that can replace what the F40 makes me feel while driving it. It's an escape for me. I, I, I set goals for myself. And earlier this year, I turned 40. And I wanted to make sure I buy the F40 before I turn 40. That was my treat again. Right? This, is, this is my... It's my passion, my hobby, it's, it's, it's my thing. And it wasn't easy because first, there aren't too many F40s out there. And second, most owners are not looking to sell them, right? They're as, as passionate about Ferrari and this car specifically as I am. Uh, maybe more, maybe less, but they love their cars. So it was the third attempt that I tried to buy this car I, had, I hired an, an agent from, from the U.S. and he finally managed to find me one in Holland. A mint condition as well. Uh, the, the team that I've worked with uh, to buy the car were extremely professional. The gentleman that I, that I bought the 512 from in Germany ended up driving all the way. I wanted to ship it from Holland to Germany. He said, no, this is please let me go get it for you. And so he took his team and they ended up driving from Germany to Holland. They brought the car, they were taking photos and videos and so on. And he drove it all the way back to Germany. Once he brought the F40 back to Germany, he ended up uh, taking both cars to an airport somewhere. And he took shots of every piece of the car. I ended up receiving this as it was by surprise few weeks before getting the cars delivered. I usually do not like surprises. This was a, this was a great surprise. And uh, I couldn't wait for the cars to get delivered. It took me some time to realize what I was looking at. I couldn't recognize that I, what I was looking at is, is mine, it's in front of me. You don't see these cars. I've seen, it, I've seen an F40 maybe twice or three times in my life before. Being able to see the car as much as I want, and owning it, it's something that made it like an unreal experience. And until now, it's just every time I sit in the car, it's as if I just sat down in the car for the first time. You don't get tired of looking at the car, you don't get used to it, but then driving it, how it handles, the level of skill that it requires for somebody to properly drive it is, is, is something. So it was and still is my favorite car out there, no doubt. Uh, once I turn it on, just the, that button, the simplicity of that button that starts the engine. It's, it's a great experience because you feel like it's um, I don't know, like one of the old toys. You just you have to press the button and, and everything goes crazy. Like the sounds, just like a, some Beethoven or, or Bach, it's some, some great symphony that just 
suddenly it, it hit the climax and hearing all the all the pistons, the movement, everything just gone crazy. Like you, you've woken up a beast. I like the smell of the car, the gasoline. It's just, it's, it's built different. Really, the car is built different. Until the engine warms up, I don't, I don't push it more than I have to. And you, the car tells you, okay, I'm ready. Now, push me, you know? And then you just push the car. You cannot get a Ferrari and not expect the speed. The car is made to be driven. I mean, today, driving here, one guy stopped me and he's saying, I've never seen one on the road before. People usually buy them and hide them. I take care of my car, so I don't abuse it, but I, it's, it has to be driven and I enjoy it. Or else to look at it in the garage, it's not gonna give me the same experience. And after a while, it just starts collecting dust. No, I wanna keep it washed, I wanna keep it clean, you know, and, and every now and then, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm not gonna treat myself daily, but every now and then, it's, it's my escape, right? If I wanna think, I'm reassessing things in business. Some people meditate, some people go to spa, some people exercise. They're all great. Driving the car is my escape. It's my, the way I meditate, the way I, I de-stress, the way I unplug myself from the daily challenges. Um, as much as I love what I do, sometimes I need to re press the reset button so I can analyze things in a, with a clear mind. And the car is an escape from all the noise and it just reprioritizes the important things in my day and in my life. So the second I get in the car, I just forget about everything else and it, it gives me that escape from everything, especially the F40. Because like I said, you, you're just paying attention on the car and there's just me and the car, that's it. Mm -hmm.